Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to automatically add HubSpot contacts to Flowdesk segments as subscribers. So I am an owner of a business in which I maintain the contact details of my customers with the help of HubSpot. And with the help of Flowdesk, I do the email marketing for my customers. Here my objective is that as soon as a new contact is going to be added in my HubSpot account, automatically what should happen is a subscriber should be created in my Flowdesk account. But the subscribers that are going to be created in my Flowdesk account should be added to different segments that I've created. So here what is going to happen that in the contact that is going to be created in my HubSpot account, the contacts are going to be created with different countries selected, okay? And I've created segments in my Flowdesk account with a different country so that I can send emails to the customers who are going to be added as subscribers in my Flowdesk account according to the geographical region selected and the segment that they are added in. And if I'm going to do this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation with Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So in this automation, we are going to create a connection between HubSpot and Flowdesk with Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, that will take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to automatically add HubSpot contacts to Flowdesk segments as subscribers. So as a marketer, I use HubSpot to manage my customer relationships and track leads. But I rely on Flowdesk for my email marketing campaigns due to its beautiful email templates and user-friendly design. Managing contacts between these two platforms was a hassle. Every time I add a new contact in HubSpot, I have to manually add them to my Flowdesk as well, which was not only time consuming, but also prone to errors. To streamline my workflow, I have automated this entire process. So now whenever I create a new contact in my HubSpot, Pabli Connect automatically adds them as a subscriber in my Flowdesk. With more, I can segment these subscribers based on the country that the contact has been created as, ensuring that the contact is placed in an appropriate segment. This allows me to tailor my email campaigns according to the geographical preferences of my audience, improving engagement and effectiveness. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as Automatically add HubSpot contacts to Flowda segments as subscribers. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. After that, it is asking for me to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Flowdesk Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on Create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of automatically add HubSpot contacts to Flowda segments as subscribers and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step, but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select my trigger application as HubSpot CRM. 
as you have my objective is that whenever i'm going to add any contact in my hubspot account automatically public can should capture the response of that that is why for the trigger application i've selected it as hubspot crm and then for the trigger event what i'm going to do is i'm going to select as new contact added as whenever a new contact is going to be added in my hubspot crm account automatically public can should capture the response of that that is why for the trigger application i've selected it as hubspot crm and for the trigger event as new contact added then i'm going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear in front of you on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that you can see it is saying connect with hubspot crm click on this button as you can see that we successfully authorized hubspot crm to public connect after connecting over here it is asking for the output properties the properties response that you want in your public connect workflow right over here are the properties that you are going to select from this drop down right over here okay as i've created a form with the help of which the contacts are going to be created in my hubspot account i want all the properties that i've created in this form right over here the properties are in the name of first name last name email mobile number street address city state and the country okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to select the properties from these properties that we have created in this form to create a contact right over here okay so the properties firstly i'm going to select it as first name okay so this is the property selected after that over here i'm going to search for last name so this is the property last name i'm going to select it after that it is asking for the email properties so i'm going to select the email property after that i want the street address so i'm going to select the street address then i want the city i want the state as well so this is the state i'm going to select it i want the property now to be the country so this is the country property i'm going to select it okay so these are the properties that i want i also want the mobile number yes so i'm going to select the property as phone number okay so these are the properties of the responses that i want in my public connect right over here so i've selected all the properties you can select the other properties according to the requirements of yours okay as i've selected the properties now you can see over here it is saying save and send test request as i'm going to click on this button the last contact that was created in my hubspot account is going to be captured in the response Response right over here. So before click on this button, I'm going to create a new contact in my HubSpot account. For that, I'm going to open the form that I've created with the help of which the contacts are going to be created. So this is the form that I've created. Now I'm going to create a new contact in my HubSpot account. Okay? It is asking for the first name of my contacts. For the first name of my contact, I'm going to write it as Smart. For the last name of my contact, I'm going to write it as Lead. Okay? Let's suppose I've written it as Lead. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as smartlead34 at the rate publicutes.com this is the email for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number for the street address over here i'm going to write it as 11 old street for the city over here i'm going to write it as bhopal for the state over here i'm going to write it as madhya pradesh and for the country from the given drop down i'm going to select as india okay so this is the contacts details now i'm going to click on the submit button as you can see it is saying thanks for submitting this means the contact has now been created i'm going to open the contacts page and you can see right over here new contact has been created in my hubspot account okay so this is the contact that is created you can see right over here in the name of smart lead okay as the contact has now been successfully created now i'm going to click on the save and send test request button in my workflow as i've done that you can see right away we've received a response of the last contact that was created in a hubspot account and the contact that we have created is in the name of smartly let us tell you the response right over here the first name comes as smart you can see right over here the last name comes as lead okay you have received the phone number you can see right over here with the region that is the country as india updated at the time right over here you can see for the email as smartlead34 at the rate publicutes.com with the state also over here as madhya pradesh so as we have received the response right over here this means that hubspot crm has now been connected to pabli connect okay so now what is going to happen that as soon as a new contact is going to be created in a hubspot account pabli connect is going to capture the response but if you are not going to receive the response immediately then do not worry as hubspot crm is a pulling based application how we could know that you can see right over here it says 10 minutes so this is the pulling duration that means in every 10 minutes whenever the new data is going to be collected by hubspot crm rm it is going to send that new data to public and it in every 10 minutes that is the polling duration you can see right over here okay if you want to make changes in this polling duration go to the three dots and set trigger time right over here a dialog box is then going to appear in front of you in a dialog box as i'm going to click on this drop down 
the pulling duration comes for the minimum being 10 minutes to the maximum being 24 hours you can select the pulling duration right away according to your requirement i'm going to leave it as 10 minutes and i'm going to save it okay so over here as the contact is going to be created in my hubspot crm account and public and it is going to capture the response our trigger setup is done now okay now we need to set up our action step and my objective is that it as soon as a new contact is going to be created in my hubspot crm account i want to create that contact as a subscriber in my flowdesk account but the subscribers are going to be created under the segments that i've created in my flowdesk account okay as the contact is going to be created in my HubSpot CRM account with the field known as the country. In the form, if I'm going to refresh this page right over here, you can see over here there is a field known as country right over here. In this country field, I have given some options right over here. The country as India, USA, China and other. Okay. So these are the main countries that I'm dealing with with my business right over here. That is why I've added the drop down. So here what I want is as soon as the contact is going to be created and the contact is going to be created with a selected country right over here. According to the country that my contact is going to be selected right over here, they should be added to the segments, the different segments. I have created four options of the countries that is India, USA, China and other. So I've created four different segments in my Flowdesk account, India, USA, China and other. I want the subscribers to be created under these segments that I've created in my Flowdesk account so that I can send the personalized geographical emails to all of my subscribers that are going to be added under these segments right over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the action step according to my requirement. And as I want the subscribers to be added under the segments, I am going to select my action application as router by Pabli. As with the help of router by Pabli, we are going to be creating different routes for the requirements as we want. Okay, we are going to conditionally run the workflow according to the different requirements that we need right over here. And for the action application, I'm going to select as conditionally run. As with the help of router by Pabli, we can conditionally run this workflow. Okay, and then I'm going to click on this connect button. As I'm going to do that, you can see right over here route 1 and route 2 is going to be provided to us right over here now we're going to set up our route 1 first as we're going to click on the setup route 1 right over here it is going to ask for us to add a filter why is the filter has been added over here as we want to conditionally run this workflow we need to first apply the different conditions of the routes that we are creating and here what the filter is going to tell us is that according to the country that we are going to select, we need to add the subscribers in our flow desk segments. So that is why we're going to set up the filter over here. Okay. In the filter, we are going to select the label filter type and the value. So now let us set up the filter first for the label over here. As we are going to create the subscribers in our segments according to the country of the contact that is selected. So for the select label over here for my filter, I am going to select the label of the country that my contact has selected. Okay, so this is the country property. I am going to select it. So now whenever the selected label that is the property region is going to be equal to the country, I am going to set up this root one for the country India. So I am going to write over here as India. Okay, so whenever now according to this filter that I've applied, whenever the property region that is the country is going to be equal to India, then this root one is going to be executed. Okay, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button right over here. The status comes as success and the message comes as condition is true as the condition that we have applied in this filter as the property where select as India is the value equal to India. That is why the condition comes as true. Okay, but if the country over here is not being selected as India, this route's not going to work as the condition is not matching right over here. The condition is the property region should be equal to India. If this condition is not going to be equal to India right over here, the status will come as error and the condition is going to come as false right over here. Okay, so we have added the filter. Now, as the filter has been added for my country, India, I want to create a subscriber in my segment that I've created India, you can see right over here. So now we're going to add our action step according to that. And for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as flow desk as now first we have to create a subscriber in our flow desk account. And then we are going to add that subscriber in our segment that we have created in our flow desk account. So first let us create a subscriber for the action event. I'm going to select as create 
slash update subscriber. Then I'm going to click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear in front of you. On which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that, click on connect with flow desk. As you can see that after that, it is asking for a permission. So I'm going to click on this allow button. As you see process in my data is perfectly saved with public connect. So I'm going to click on this allow button. As you can see that Flowdesk is now connected to Pabli Connect. After connecting, it is asking for the field. With the help of this field required right over here, the subscribers are going to be identified as a new subscriber that has been created or an existing subscriber has already been there. So for the field over here, I'm going to select it as email right over here. For the field value, as I've selected the field as email, for the field value, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data of the email of my subscriber that I'm creating. So now what is mapping? Mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we go to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this field these are the previous step of this workflow right over here and as I'm going to click on this step HubSpot right over here this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as for the field value we need the email of our subscriber that I'm creating and over here this is the email of the contact in my HubSpot account and I want to create this contact as subscriber in my Flowdesk account so now what I'm going to do is from my previous response I'm going to select this data of the email email of my subscriber okay that I'm creating as I selected data from my previous response the data is mapped and as I map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data after that it is asking for the first name of my subscriber so I'm going to map the data of the first name of my subscriber right over here similarly for the last name I'm going to map the data of the last name of my subscriber it is asking for send opt-in confirmation email subscriber I'm going to select as no opt-in ID and this timestamp I do not require the field so I'm going to skip the part okay after filling in all the required details I'm going to click on the save and send test request button okay so you can see right over here the subscriber has now been successfully added to my flow desk account I'm going to open my flow desk account go to all subscribers page and you can see right over here, a new subscriber has been added in the name of Smart Lead. You can see with the email address as smartlead34 at the rate pablitudes.com. Okay. Our subscriber has now been successfully added to my Flowdesk account. We have successfully created a subscriber first. Now over here in the help desk, it says to include the subscriber in a particular segment. Kindly add an additional Flowdesk action step following the one using Flowdesk event as add sub existing subscriber on segment. So as now the subscriber is successfully created in my Flowdesk account I want to add that subscriber to the segments that I've created I'm going to go back to the audience page go to segments so you can see right over here these are the segments that I've created and now I want to add the subscribers in the subs in these specific segments right over here so now what we're going to do is we're going to add another action step to this workflow and for the action application what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as flow desk as now I'm going to add the existing subscriber in the segment that I've created in my flow desk account and for the action event I'm going to select as add existing subscriber to segment okay after selecting the action application and the event, I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is then going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to select the existing connection. But if you want, you can add a new connection. Then I'm going to click on the save button. As you can see that Flowdesk is now connected to Public Connect. It is asking for the subscriber's email. So for the subscriber's email, I'm going to map the date of the email of my subscriber that I'm creating. After entering the subscriber's email, it is asking for us to select a segment. So I've created few segments in my Flowdesk account in the name of India, USA, China and others. Okay. As a root one that I'm setting up over here is for the country India segment. So the segment over here, I'm going to select the country as India. Okay. As we have applied the filter for the India. So over here, I've selected the segment as India. Okay. Then I'm going to click on this save and send test request button. As I'm going to do that, over here, this is a response which is a positive response. That means now the subscriber has been added to the segment India, okay? I'm going to open my Flowdesk account, open the segment India right over here. And you can see over here, subscriber in the name of Smart Lead with the email address as smartlead34 at the has been added to the segment India, you can see right over here, okay? As now the subscriber has been successfully added to the segment that is India, the root one has been set up successfully. So I'm going to close this root from here and I'm going to rename this root right over here. And the name of the root that I want to give is India right over here. Okay. 
so this is root one India you can see right away I'm going to update this so now the root one for the country India has been set up successfully okay now I want to set up the roots for the other countries that is China USA and other so now what I'm going to do is instead of again setting up the whole root from the top what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this I'm going to simply clone this root from here I'm going to clone this root from here okay I'm going to rename the root over here and the name that I want to give is USA okay so this is the root 2 that I want to create for USA segment okay I'm going to click on the set filter and action steps button now we are going to make few changes in this root as we are going to now set up this root for this segment USA so we are going to make few changes in this root right over here for the filter step for the filter religion that is going to be select label filter type is equal to for the value instead of India as this root 2 is for the country USA so I'm going to select over here the value as USA now whenever the property region is going to be equal to USA then this second root that is going to be the root USA is going to be executed okay then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button over here the status comes as error and the message comes as condition is false so now why it is coming as error and condition is false because over here in the pre-response the country selected by my contact is as India right over here which is not equal to USA so that is why the condition comes as false and the status comes as error right over here okay but if the contacts country is going to be selected as USA the condition is going to come as true and the status is going to come as success okay as we have applied the filter after that over here we're going to set up our action step again and over here the subscriber is going to be created in the similar way so I'm not going to make any changes in this step right over here but over here as a segment is going to be selected as USA right over here so what I'm going to do is in place of this India first I'm going to refresh this field I'm going to not select India and I'm going to select the segment over here as USA as this root 2 that we are creating is for USA that is why for the segment I'm going to select as USA okay and then I'm going to simply click on the save button because as I'm going to click on the save and send test request button what is going to happen the same subscriber is going to be created as a subscriber in the segment USA as well okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on the save button and save the changes that I've created over here okay so now as the changes are been saved I'm going to close this route our route 2 has also been set up for the segment USA okay I'm going to delete this extra route from here now in the similar manner you can create segments for China and other countries as well you can add routes like add one other add another route I am not going to do that right over here as I've already set up two routes for the example you're going to add more routes for the China others or other countries that you have selected right away you can add routes according to the requirement and set up the route right over here okay so this is how you create different routes over here in the workflow that you are creating so now as we have already run the workflow once so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another contact in my HubSpot CRM account and I'm going to check whether a subscriber has been created in my HubSpot CRM account in different segments or not okay so now I'm going to create another contact over here for the first name of my contact I'm going to select it as dummy okay for the last name over here I'm going to select it as lead66 for the email over here I'm going to select it as dummy lead success at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number for the street address over here i'm going to write it as 14 new street i'm going to write the city over here as los angeles and for the state over here i'm going to write it as california okay so this is the state and for the country over here i'm going to select it as usa okay after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the submit button as it says the form submission has now been done the contact has now been created successfully in my hubspot account so as the form submission has now been done i'm going to wait for 10 minutes as hubspot cr in the pulling based application so i'm going to wait for 10 minutes over here and i'm going to check whether a new subscriber under the segment usa has been created or not for that i'm going to wait for 10 minutes first so as I've waited for 10 minutes, I'm going to open the segment USA right over here. And you can see over here in my segment USA, subscriber has been added in the name of dummy lead 66 with email as dummy lead 66 at the rate pablitudes.com. As now the subscriber has been successfully added to the segment USA, this means that it's fully created an automation between HubSpot and Flowdesk with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. 
I am an owner of a business and I manage straight off my customers their contacts with the help of HubSpot. My objective is that it, as soon as I'm going to create a new contact in my HubSpot account, automatically that same contact should be added as subscriber in my flow desk but in different segments. So for that I've created this amazing automation between HubSpot and flow desk with the help of Babbly Connect. And this is how you create this amazing automation. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment now if any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of public connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support at the rate public.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching